Hello everybody, I'm Steven. Hello everybody, I'm Resvon. And we're Cardboard Coalition. Yes, we got Resvon in this video um, for once. And she's going to do an unboxing with us. Um, and she's calling in to us through video call, obviously. So, this is a game that I ended up picking up at a big box store uh, for Black Friday, actually. And it's $15 for a game that's normally $34. $35, $39. So this is a highly rated game. Um, it is, I guess, maybe set collection, maybe a little tile placement from what I understand from it. Um, it is from Next Move Games. There are a lot of different Azul games, um, but this one you're basically collecting up tiles and you're trying to set up a pattern and that's, that's kind of how you win. And that's all I know about the game. Um, but I've been wanting to pick this up. This is one of those games everyone talks about. You have to pick up, you have to play kind of thing. But I also think that because it's patterned, so it's close to um, tile laying, or at least I feel like it might be, and Resvon kind of really likes tile laying and, laying and putting tiles together. So when I saw this for sale, we went ahead and picked it up. So let's go ahead and open the box. Come on, man, what's in the box? Let's go ahead and open the box. Oh, does it say... Uh, so, oh, let's look right here. So it's two to four players and it takes about 30 to 40 minutes. And there's the person who designed the game, right? Uh, it's that Michelle or Michael, I always screw those up, uh, Kisling. All right, Plan B Games, what did I say it was? Next moves on the box, but Plan B Games, all right. Oh, so Plan B does all these different ones, okay, yep. So they always put one of those in. It tells you kind of the stuff that's coming out. There's a rule book. It's only, let's see, one, two, three, four, five pages long, six pages long. Assuming they're counting that as the first page. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so five pages. They count the front page as a page. Um, end of game. So it looks like it's going to be a fairly easy game to understand let's go ahead and we'll set that right here we got us some tiles not sure what these are for let's see how easy they pop out oh, they're in there a the little bit you got to be kind of gentle i like to kind of twirl them not bad it's a fairly thick cardboard especially so i think at this point it's kind of a mass market game these are i believe the the player boards yep so you got your four player boards Patterns that you set up, looks like they're all the same pattern. All right, we got our player boards. We got some black little squares. I don't know what, little plastic squares. Go ahead and leave those in there. This is a nice insert. Looks like it's a lot of room for what they're giving you. I'm assuming that's the first player, but I'm not sure, but there's a little tile. You got this nice cloth bag. It's a draw bag, so I'm assuming you pull out tiles. So there's a nice cloth bag. And then the tiles. So we got some blue tiles. We got some blue with white. I'm looking over here at the patterns, as you guys can see. We got some yellow and red tiles. We got us some black and blue tiles. And then we got some straight red tiles. So like I said, I don't know much about this game. I can't wait to figure out how to play it and, and you know, show you guys how to play it. I can't wait to sit down and play it with Resvon. So as you can see, these are the patterns here. I'm assuming you're trying to make these patterns based on the tiles that you're given. But I'm not entirely sure on that one. Oh, and I bet you this is the point tracker up here because there's zero. And I bet you this is for points. This is all nice plastic. I'll, I'll get it out and kind of show you guys in a minute. But I'm willing to bet, since there's four of these, it's the point tracker. And by doing certain things, you get points and you go on. So there's zero, one, two, three, four, five, right? And there's four of these. So there's one for each player. All right. And like I said, these are nice. I mean, they're light, they're plastic, but nice little solid uh, plastic pieces. All right. Let's go ahead and look at some of these. Um, here's some of the plain blue ones. 
And just a little plastic tiles. I guess we can set that there. You can see, you can hear them. Ooh, they're nice. I feel like they're a pretty nice quality, especially getting it on sale for $15. I feel like this is it's a very, uh, very easy buy. Um, who knows, maybe I shouldn't have gone out and spent it, but it's been on my radar for a while. I wanted to at least play it, so I figure for $15, might as well get it. Now these ones, and I figure that happened, there's a screen printing or it's painted on top. It'd have been nicer if these tiles were indented. I'm worried that that would chip off over time because I'm assuming you put these in the bag and shake them all up. But I mean, not bad, not bad. So we got ourselves one, two, three, four, five different tile sets. We got ourselves the little player boards. And these are nice and thick. Oh, there's another side, look at that. It's two-sided. Go Steven, go Steven, go. I wonder if this is more an advanced way to play and this is your basic way to play, but we'll figure that out in the how to play. Looks like it pretty much shows the same thing. The only difference is this has patterns that you have to follow and this one has patterns that you make. So we'll dive into that and look, I guess we can go like that side by side. So you can see both of them. Ooh, ooh, oh. Make sure I get on camera instead of getting too excited about looking. So there you go. That's pretty much everything that comes in here. There's a nice little, oh, I didn't notice that. It's a place to put all those cardboard tokens. Sorry, I just hit the camera again. All right, still working on having the best setup here. But there's an insert. So that's everything that came in the box. I didn't say quick video at the beginning, but it looks like this will be a six, seven, maybe eight minute video. But that's everything that came in the box. And I almost forgot, we have Resvon here. What do you think, Resvon? A fun game and a quick game. Easy game. Easy game. Because you don't have a lot of things to do. I think it will be an easy game. I'm really excited for playing that. <laughs> yeah, I agree. It looks like it, 30 to 45 minutes, so we'll see. So everybody, this is basically what comes in the box for Azul. And this is just the box that you get at any store. I just happened to pick this one up at a a big box store, Target, Target had it for sale. Um, and just a side note, something that I learned, always check the Target app, even for sales that they have at Target. Because when I went in the store, they had this for $20, and I saw it on the app for $14.99, I believe it was. And as soon as I walked to the, up to the front and showed them, they, without any question, they charged me $14.99 for the game. So I feel like this is kind of a steal. I'm pretty excited. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Steven. And we're Cardboard Coalition. See you later, everybody. Bye.